Hey everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am in the mood to embellish another one of my quilt blocks from the Quilt Block Party. I have an entire playlist of you watching me make 20 blocks that belong to this group of blocks, and now I am taking them one at a time and embellishing them with all kinds of things like lace and ribbons and bows and stuff like that. So I am going to work on this block today. I have pulled out my crafty embellishing supplies and my first thought is because when I made this block I noticed that this strip was much wider at the base than the others so it kind of just looked like a place that should be embellished. I would like to put some pink buttons, these nice big pink buttons, but I think those buttons are pretty boring. And I know there's pink, they're not the same pink, that's what I like about it. So what I thought is, and I just turned my iron on so I can press this, I thought I could make some little rings of lace and then sew the button on top of the lace. It'll just be different. So, so let me press my lace a little bit and uh, we'll give this a try. I played with this lace a little bit and it seems like no matter what, it's going to want to like curl up. So, you know, the button would be more like sitting in something, I don't know how to explain it, like a cup. And I don't really want that. I'm thinking if I take some thread and gather the lace and make it really ruffled, I might get the look I'm going for, but now I think I'm going to go ahead and sew the buttons on first and then deal with putting the lace under them after, and then I can just tack those under there with a couple of stitches. So what I'm going to do is my handy dandy trick of just putting the buttons down with a little bit of glue, white glue, it's washable, will come out if the quilt is ever washed and it'll just help hold them there a little bit while I sew. There, I like the looks of that. We'll let that dry. I'm gonna work with my lace and I'll be right back. My buttons are now stuck to the fabric enough so that I don't have to worry about replacing them and I'm just going to sew them on. I'm using some embroidery thread and I left it with all the strands and I picked yellow just because I can and when you use nice thick thread, you don't have to stitch that many times. In fact, once is probably enough. I'll do twice, just for good measure. That's enough. Good, good. And of course it's crooked. I wanted it straight, but I'm not taking it apart. They're probably all going to be crooked. <laughs> and that's enough for that one. I just make two square knots, one on top of the other. If you don't know how to make a square knot, I am sure there are some tutorials out there for you. I don't know how to explain it. I loved learning how to make knots when I was a kid. And one more. Do I have enough? I think I can do it. All right, almost perfect, except this guy is twisted a little bit. And of course I'm going to be obsessed with that, but I refuse to fix it. <laughs> so here's what I'm thinking. It might work. I just took a needle and I just have regular thread because I didn't want it to be too bulky and I'm just passing it through the top of that lace just like under the netting and I'm just going to do that for I don't know a few inches I don't care that the thread is blue because it's not going to show and I just want to do that for a little bit and then maybe we'll gather it and see how that looks I should pay attention to how much I'm gathering okay, I got like six and a half inches Let's do like seven inches. All right. Now I just want to see if I gather that all up. Will that be enough to go around uh, the button? Oh yeah, it should be. All right, let's just give this a try. I am going to, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going to cut the needle off. 
I just want to go under the button and gather it. I know you can't see a thing that I'm doing because I don't ever have the right angles of camera. Ah, maybe you can see better there. See, I'm just wrapping the lace around the bottom of the button and I'm hoping that my thread is strong enough so it doesn't break. I'm just gonna gather it. Now it looks like it might be okay, so I'm going to relax this now and I'm just going to cut the lace without cutting my thread. I'm gonna gather and try to like space that gathering around the button. Ooh, I uh, like that. All right, let's see if I can tie a knot here. What am I doing? I have no clue where I am here, under here. Jeez, I hope I can do the others. <laughs> I don't really know what I've done. Get out of there. Well, I uh, like that. Just make another knot here to secure it. Trying to make sure the knot is underneath. Okay, I am going to trim that. And for the sake of this video, I am good with this. If I were really wanting to secure this down, I can move the gathers around a little bit. I could just go back here and take a few stitches into the lace just to really tack it there. But that's pretty cute. I like that. Let's do the other two. And now I know I want about seven inches of lace, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut first at seven and gather. done the three little flowers. I absolutely love that. I was going to go on to do more, but I think I'm stopping here. I don't want to get too carried away as much as I'd like to, but I figure I can do some embellishing, and then if I ever want to come back and do some more, I can. I think this block is busy enough, and I think these are like way busy, and I want them to stand out, and they do. So this is it for this one. Please subscribe so you can see how I embellish all the other blocks that I have in this series. And I'll be back with more soon. Bye.